Hello, hello, Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today I'm actually on just a mini vacation here and thought <laughs> I'd bring my stuff like I always do so that I can share with you even on vacation. So while on this vacation, I am um, working with the Cricut Infusible Ink. I am doing this just so that I could test to see whether you need to actually use the t-shirt blank that you could purchase for $9.99 or whether you could use a Walmart or another t-shirt brand that's a cotton blend. So um, before we get started, let's like, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, and once you do all of that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna try this with an arn, and it is 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So, you are supposed to have something in between the fabric so that you don't, um, so that the ink doesn't bleed to the back of your shirt. So they give you a couple of pieces of like butcher paper to um, put in between. So you have that. You're supposed to use a lint brush. I am on vacation, so I do not have one. So I am just really don't have the things that I need here, but we're gonna try to make this work anyway. So the next thing you do is prepare your shirt by earning it. Um, a little bit so I'm doing that and um, my design is just my procrastination DIY this isn't sitting the way I want it to So I am just like with anything else, gonna go about three inches down. So here is just my progress creation name. So I said you should have some heat on here to help it transfer. need to put it down so then like I said they give you a few pieces of butcher paper so you can put another piece over top of it shiny side down um, and then you would be using your easy press right here. I am gonna try this with an arm just to see how it goes. And the easy press would be 40 seconds, I believe. So I'm gonna keep this on for a minute and we're gonna see what happens. So I will come back after that minute. Okay, so I did this in sections and like I said, I was gonna do it for a minute each section. And this is how it turned out. Ooh, can't get it for y'all. Look at that. Woohoo! It works. So it does work on. All right, procrastinators. So now that we have done this, I just want to give you a few little notes about um, how this all worked and turned out. One, I used an arn. They recommend that you use the Easy Press 2 or above for these types of projects. So um, an arn works. You just got to let it sit a little bit longer um, and your quality I think with the ink it may not be as good as it could be 
Um, so that is the first thing. Uh, let me show you. I did this on an actual Cricut blank. Another thing you may want to take note of, which I didn't think about, I used the black background and then put the color on top. That doesn't work as well as it would for uh, vinyl. So just something to make note of. But the color is vibrant. It is, um, the shirt is a nice shirt. It's a nice thick shirt. But like I said, it is $9.99 for this shirt. So not sure if that's something you want to do or have in your budget. If you're just doing one, I guess that's okay. Um, the same shirt, and this is a Walmart shirt. Um, same design as you can see it is much lighter um, but I don't know if that is because one I am using an arm one I did not hold this one down for a minute so um, later in what you saw in the video I was holding it down for a minute so just be mindful of that um, some of this paper is white so I'm thinking that the some of the print would come out white it's the white doesn't matter it's gonna so if you're trying to put something on a dark shirt you just need to be mindful of that um, I put a love bug image on this blue you can barely see it so and I was thinking the white paper so that's just me thinking wrong um, so what I did was take that same image and try to use it twice and as you can see um, it's light right here but that's where most of the image came off on the blue so it would have been better on a white shirt so just again something to be mindful of and here's the one you actually saw me iron down um, so like I said you don't have to use the blanks and spend the $9.99 the um, infusible ink itself at least at the place where I purchased it um, a tube a pack of two is $12.99 a pack of four is $17.99 so pack of four is more economically friendly um, but as you can see it works so and from what I've read about this they're washable you can do everything that you would normally do so hopefully this is helpful to you thank you thank you thank you for watching as always please like subscribe hit that notification bell um, I appreciate you all and I'll see you all the next time.